Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here, Slava Ukraini. Today we're going to continue playing as the Kingdom of the Ukraine, also known as Ukraina. But, let us recap what we have done. So, I'll be honest here, I am doing this a little bit ahead of time because I will not be here today. But I'm still here playing Hoi4 with you. Anyways, so, last time, the Reich's Pact made a tremendous push from the borders of the Reich's Pact Russo border and has pushed fairly fairly well I would say the north obviously has had the most success with Petrograd being taken um, the central portion of the front has done fairly well except the southern portion basically the most important portion has been suffering quite greatly and that's because the Ukraine has done so much for the Reich's Pact an insane amount, some would say, because we had to guard the entire border, despite us not having enough divisions. Now, let's let time go on. And as you can tell, the my border with uh, the, the Russians, or the front that I'm willing to guard, has been moved. I'm no longer willing to guard the entire border by myself. That's insane. I must focus more and more on the Ukraine, because I cannot afford to lose more industry. So, that being said, this is not good. And because of this, because of the actions of the Ukrainians, we have suffered quite a few casualties. But it's not for nothing. For if the Ukrainians, we didn't, like, you know, hold the border for the most part for a while until reinforcements could come, who knows what could have happened. The United Baltic Duchy could have fallen. Lithuania was and still is at war with us. White Ruthenia might have fallen. I mean, how many divisions they got? They got 15. The Balts have 5. We have 64 while the Russians in total have maybe up to 184 if it wasn't up for us to s realize that if any member of the Reich's Pact fell then it would be spell doom for everybody like it might right here so that's why I'm moving my division south if they want to push in the north I'm fine with that just we have to focus on the south I must make sure that we are still okay down here because we are not doing very well right now Regardless, we've got 50 days left to fuel. Or 49 days. We've sunk a few more Argentinian convoys. they got a lot of convoys around here, and I love it. Keep seeking that stuff. we got to hold on as hard as hell, but we have not lost without Vic without some sort of gain. We are currently 26% of the way towards capitulation. We've lost 114,000 men. I'm sorry. But their sacrifices were not in vain, because for every, let's see, for every Ukrainian lost, we have pretty much killed almost two Russians, as well as 56,000 Cossack soldiers. That's pretty good in my book. More than two enemies for every one Ukrainian man. So, really, we're showing them that you don't mess with the Ukraine, as long as we got allies. Cool, and we've sunk another five convoys. Great stuff, yeah. Holding here, it's just a matter of time until my soldiers can get all south. So now we have another bonus for land doctrine. Great, great, great. And now we can do reorganized army. Finally, the army of Ukraine has been reorganized by the Ministry of Defense and our general staff. It seemed that the army which had been formed after 1918 to maintain the independence of Ukraine has finally come into fruition. This will be very, very important. Please do not attack. We do not have the resources to really attack. We are out of artillery, but we're definitely out of guns. Go ahead and retreat to uh, Pavlograd. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Excuse me. Hmm. Excuse me. Um, please. Like I told the other guy, do not attack. We do not have the means to attack right now. If the Germans want to attack the Russians, so be it. It's fine with me. I just hope that the Mongolians are doing a great, great job. The Russians have up to a million manpower. That's a lot. But the Mongolians, while not nearly as much manpower, they have, a, they have quite a few divisions. Which is great. Really, really great. Um, over here, it looks like the Mongolians, they are... Potentially moving into more and more Russian lands. Yes, they are. And that's a great thing. Oh, and there goes the AOG. It looks like we have the Republic of China. Who knows when the actual Chinese update for Kaiser comes out? Probably, give or take, two or weeks. Two or more weeks. Alright, you guys are holding still. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, they joined the Third International, the Indo Chinese Union, I think. But would you look at that over here? Oh, you can't defend your border because the Ukrainians aren't over here? Oh, how sad. How sad. How pitiful. It's almost as if you needed the Ukrainians, but you refused to send divisions down to the Ukraine to help guard the border down here. Hmm. 
Interesting. For now, go ahead and help hold here. Uh, you guys are attacking? Well, that's nice. <clears throat> if we could help shore up this line a little bit, we might be able to attack right here. Six divisions versus a single one. Now, we don't know what's on this division, but it looks like we might be able to win and help close this line off a little bit better. That is for the best. Come on. Come on, you're doing alright. Germans, just just defend. Do not attack. You do not have the means to attack, but it looks like the Flemish... Oh, the German Empire is attacking with militia divisions. Because, why not? Oh, um, they're getting attacked as well. And Indo-Chinese Union has joined the war. Alright, well, whatever. Whatever. Looks like the Dutch are getting attacked over here as well. Interesting. They're still trying to attack the, Dan the Danish folk, but whatever. Oh, looks like the Finns are struggling up here. It's definitely a struggle, my friends. It's definitely quite a struggle. Oh, they are attacking us down here. I'm going to throw you into the fray over here, actually. I would like to attack... I don't think it'd be very much worth it. Um, you don't really need to attack. Yeah, don't attack right now. Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't want to move this too much either. Uh, they're still attacking us. We're still attacking them. It's definitely a mixed bag right now. They're still attacking us in the south, which is interesting. Ooh, Yvonne... Become adaptable. You're definitely going to need that, despite you being... Oh, you actually have another trait. Despite you being politically connected. Oh, politicians. Politicians. You're going to move up, because you're going to move up this direction, too. Oh, we're actually attacked the enemy here. Very nice. Move in. They're attacking Sumi. But hopefully they will not win. Oh, how many divisions are over here? Just one? We might be able to... Oh, nope. Yeah, do something like that. I need that one division down here. If we can do this, we can encircle with like two more divisions. Come on. Are you going to move or not? You're not, barely moving. Um, yeah, the Germans love attacking. I don't know why. Is it, it must be programmed into the German AI to just attack, attack, attack. War on two fronts. Well, at least I got that. More defense. Um, no? It just must be programmed into the German AI. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good. They're starting to lose this battle over here. Um, from the Netherlands, I'll take a couple guns. It only, it's only five convoys. I know the Germans attacked crazily in the beginning. It looks like someone invaded the Union of Britain. They have half a million manpower. A ton of divisions. The Germans have not a ton of divisions. They have some and a lot of manpower, which is good. But they need a lot more equipment. The Union of Britain has a lot of manpower under Arthur Horner with a couple divisions. Not bad. Who invaded? Is that Poland? No, that's not Poland. Oh, the Canadian Commonwealth. Oh, and the Irish are on, are in the Reichs Pact as well. Hello there. <clears throat> it looks like the uh, Commune of France now is finally attacking Alsace-Lorraine. Germany, you've done one heck of a mess of this war. You didn't have to do that much. Yet you chose to anyways. It looks like our... Ooh. Nice, that's good. Our fleet is trying to find some Don Kuban subs. How many ships do these guys have? They don't have much. You know what? I'm going to take the subs off of this for now. Because even though that won't save a lot of fuel, it can still be necessary to help kill off some enemy ships. Okay, so it's 1940. I could use more construction speed, but I could use better artillery for a soft attack. Thank you very much. We're still getting attacked like crazy. 11 days left of fuel. Not bad. Not great. Send one division this way. Good. Kick them out. Immediately attack these two divisions. Or whoever's actually over here. Yeah, just two divisions. Not It's not that many divisions, but I'd rather have them dead than not. Oh, that's not good. They're actually... How many are attacking? It's 24 divisions are attacking my four divisions. Well, that certainly is interesting. And we sunk an enemy sub. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I clicked on K. Please do not do that All right now. Yeah, go ahead and repair. That is beautiful. Cyan, People's Democratic Republic. Kind of figured that was coming. 
All right. I really don't want to take a look at losses because I don't want to see how much men Germany has decided to sacrifice for nothing. Unlike the Germans, we know when to not attack. For the most part. For the most part. But right now, I'm at... Personally, I am a little bit tired because I've had a little bit of a long day. But regardless, the show must go on. Manpower-wise, we're not doing bad. For the most part, it looks like we can mostly defend along the line, which is great. Except here, where four divisions are trying to smack into two. So that's very interesting. Germany, please, please do not... Please don't die. Please. How much more manpower does Denmark have? They still have a little bit under Frederick the Ninth. What about Sweden? What are they doing? Surprised they didn't come into the war. They're, they're just really. The Swedes are boring. Very, very boring. Looks like the Russians are definitely doing a number on the Finns who are attacking erroneously. This war might be turning into a disadvantage for us. I don't know yet. We'll have to see what happens. We'll, we have to see how this front turns out because right now the Entente is doing terrible. They're doing no work. So right now our losses. Germany suffered over 2 million casualties. That's insane. That's nuts. The Russians have lost nearly a million, and we've caused over a quarter million to them, which is great. Um, we've killed almost 100,000 Cossacks. Just... Okay, the Communist of France has actually lost quite a few guys. That's actually a little bit reassuring. But how is the Entente doing? Second Valkyrie, German-Russian War, Qing-Chinese War, Ogden War. Ooh, how's this war going? That's a whole... That's a lot of dead Americans, holy crap. That's over 10 million dead Americans, Jesus Christ. Especially for the CSA? What are you, Germany? Oh my goodness. Uh, is there the Entente in here somewhere? I'd like to see how they're doing. Third International Reich's Pact, who they are. That's a lot of losses, too, for a group that hasn't done that much. Canada's lost nearly half a million men. And Austria's just like, I can't wait till Germany falls. <laughs> Oh, two divisions are attacking us. Good, good, good. Manpower-wise for you guys. You're getting more divisions, probably. And more manpower. Alright. I will attack wherever is necessary. No doubt about it. Oh my goodness, who is committing these attacks? Oh, Walter Model, you're looking a little crazy there. Um, really, my goal right now <clears throat> is to at least hold the line. And maybe push. Maybe. Mm, gotta love water. Got to love water. You guys have you have some artillery on your pieces. Is there any good place for us to attack? Even though we really don't have enough guns to attack with, we have actually a decent number of artillery. Do you have artillery? No, you don't. So I'm not going to commit you to an offensive. Over here would be good. Over right here would be actually be very good to attack. Let's try that. I'm going to commit five divisions to this attack. Now, you probably don't have artillery on you. Okay, there you go, Sweden. I take that back. You're actually doing something great. And that's... Actually, that's extremely great for us. First of all, they can help the Finns up here. Secondly, they can help smash the the Danish, hopefully. Because the Germans are a little crazy. That's actually not that bad. That's pretty good for us. That's pretty darn good. Um, oh. Uh, they're attacking me. I'm not going to move this division, though. Good. You can stop. You can hold. Germany's A's a council. They're Lend-Lease. They're attacking us once again here with four divisions. Let's see how that goes for them. There's so much war going on here. But then again, this is Hoi 4. What do you expect? Yeah, keep... Attack Sumi. Come on, guys. Yeah? I'm not super strong, so... Keep racking up those casualties. Even though we're taking quite a few ourselves. I do want to put on some logistic companies... Well, at least field hospitals eventually, but, you know. Uh, this, this is war. That's not good. If you want to attack me, then I'm going to attack you right in the butt. You want that tile? Cool, I'll take an airbase. I'll take my own airbase back. You know what? I want some support down here. Yeah, no, 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 you attack me, and you take my land. No, 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 no. We're running out of sh uh, fuel, so go ahead. Um, do this for now. Repair. Send the subs back out and do this. That'll save on fuel a little bit. You guys are not doing very well right here. 
Kurdistan joined the Cairo Pact. You must be getting at least some sort of organization there. Yeah, push these guys out. They don't deserve this. Three divisions versus two. Hmm. Oh, they're still attacking down here. That's good. Not sure why no one's moving this way, but okay. Five divisions. We need this tile. Is there anywhere that we could... Yes, we could. Right here. That'll help shore up the line. One division cannot hold out against all those soldiers, which is great. If we can make an encirclement here, that would be awesome, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, it looks like we're getting pushed back over there. We found some more... Ooh. Some of those guys. Very nice. Fuel. Okay, they're coming back over. Looks like the enemies are tiring out, which is nice. What is the strength of the Don Kuban Union? Still pretty good for them. Still pretty good. War propaganda sounds nice. Not super necessary, but nice. And that will help us give us a little bit of a buff when we're um attacking core and defending on core territory, which will be good, but... We'll see what happens first. Just keep committing soldiers to the front where they need to be. Mm, yeah, attacking this tile really isn't worth it right now. You, however... Ooh, what do we have over here? Five more. Ships lost. Well, now we're definitely defending. The Socialist Republic of Italy. Are you still killing off the Sicilians? Like, I know you don't like them, but... They're not... You're not winning. You might have more divisions. Well, maybe you're winning a little bit. Not really, though. Over here, there's massive amounts of defenses going on. Just so much defending. This is definitely not a great time for anybody. Look at those tanks. Look how much equipment they don't have. Heavy tanks, huh? Interesting. Definitely want to attack here. That's a, probably the most prime location to attack. They're attacking us over here because they hate us. And they took that back. Come on. I have one division there. It's not worth it. I need to help hold the line. Um. Yeah, they're attacking me. I'm just going to attack them back. Where are you going? Yeah, you guys. You guys attack here. You guys attack here. Attack them in the butt. Yeah, we might be attacking over a river, but with this guy in multiple combats, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, you want to attack that tile, then I'm going to attack you over here. See how you like it. A reorganized army. Thank God we got more division recovery right now. We could get more support artillery. We could use maybe a little bit more stability for more division organization, construction speed, and stuff like that. So let's go with the Ukrainian Navy, which somehow gives us 6% more stability. So, a strong fleet is vital if we are to look beyond simply our own borders. Protecting our trade and coastlines shall require a strong naval force, and I completely agree. Come on, you gotta give up sometime. There you go. We might give up this tile, but we're gonna come right back at him. Oh, I'm sorry, you wanted that tile? So did I. Cool, we got 150 political power. We could use some more manpower, but we are mobilizing a little bit more currently. We have up to... What's that? 5% in total. So we're actually going to get quite a bit more manpower now, which is really great. Really, really great for 5% more. Right now, I could increase it. Is there anyone that I can replace, perhaps? Eh, that's not bad, actually. Same monthly ideology opinion. Stability goes down, but I lose manpower, or probably political power. Solidify control isn't bad, but I need as much output as possible right now. <clears throat> Ships. I can make a lot of subs. Armor cruisers, cruisers. Eh, that's okay. Theorists. Land doctrine's okay. Rocket, air. Aircraft. Really, there's not much else here. Tank designers. I'm not even using tanks. Planes. Light bombers. Light bombers. So I can produce one better or have better stats. I'm not even using any of these. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Hmm. Really? You know what? What's the production like? We got plenty of cannons right now. So. This might be bad, but it only costs 12 artillery in total. Throw it on there. 
that'll lower that, but that will give us a little bit more firepower. So, to that end, you know what? I'm just going to go and increase conscription level. We need to. It's a necessary evil. <clears throat> we have a ton of manpower for now, which will be great. Yeah, come on, come on, Kozaks. You're so fierce, huh? You're so strong? Yeah, I don't think so. You can't even defeat four of my divisions. Oh, we have Rezev. Rezev. However you pronounce that. Um, what about here? No. Not really much is going on. We're defend. Oh, that's not good right there. Six divisions might not be winning against 18. <clears throat> Central American Republic has fallen to Mexico. Um, they are totalists. That's a cursed Mexico. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow, that's great. They have either three or up to 45 divisions. That's a, that's, that's a good thing, huh? Looks like the CSA is probably going to win the war. That's really not good for us. But, well, one thing at a time. Um, who are we? That's not good. They're slowly gaining ground here, which is terrible for us. Factory towns. They're losing manpower, though. They're definitely losing manpower, while Germany's still holding on fairly okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> um, I'm looking for an opportunity to strike. Because even though... We may not be doing great ourselves. I'm not sure why we're losing. Not exactly winning here, but okay. Sumi is probably where we're going to have to strike. I can't believe they actually took Sumi. They want to attack Sumi, then I will attack them back and try to take it. Ah, there goes Liberia. Great. It looks like we're probably going to win that battle, which would be good. Right here, they have only one more division, so I'm going to take this, this, this. You three attack one division right here, and that'll be great. Hopefully with that tiny bit more of artillery in some of those divisions, that'll be enough to do whatever we need to do. Yeah, come on, keep attacking me. I like it. Oh, Sweden, you want to help me out with some Mausers? Sure thing, buddy. Just keep sinking those convoys. This individual, he must be getting more XP, right? He's level 4, that's pretty good. Um, not bad, not bad. Very good. Russian, Russia, in general, has more manpower and a few more divisions. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is kind of like, ugh. Mongolia is doing okay. Looks like they made a small little encirclement down here, which is good. Very good. Let's see. Anywhere in particular, I might tr be bold enough to try a very small encirclement. I might be bold enough. Maybe. How many divisions are defending? Two. Is it really worth trying to attack this tile? It actually might be if we help them out. Give them the extra strength they need, boys. If we can cut off and kill two more Russian divisions, that's worth it. Improved artillery upgrade. Very nice. It's still 1940. So we got a little bit of time until 1941. So, I might just go ahead and do field hospitals. How much support equipment do I have? 136. I'm not making any. So it'd be a waste of time pretty much making those. Uh, but you know what's not a waste of time? Nuclear reactors. Exactly. Not a waste of time. I just want the extra research speed. Are these two... These tiles aren't connected, right? Oh, no, they're not. They are definitely not. Go ahead and kill these Ruskies. Get rid of them. They don't belong here. Nice, mechanized offensive is done. At least we get Blitz Attacker because we're not using any tanks or armor right now. And then, of course, we'll do Shock and Awe because the left side, I mean, it's okay. It's not great. It's really not great. The centralized power control, more soft attack. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're still moving a few divisions around, which is kind of annoying. If someone just dropped something behind my computer, but whatever. I want to attack here next. So, attack here. I'm going, to send, I'm going to send all these divisions this way, but I'm not going to mo actually move them in that direction. I just want to have them have enough firepower so that we can do this. At least we got back Sumi, which was actually a really great thing. Send one division stay. You stay as well. You're moving up, and I don't want them to move too much. Go ahead and start attacking here. I wonder if we can do this. Maybe, maybe not. Go ahead and do that. Saudi Arabia... Do, what, what the heck is that? Ikhwan? Hello there. Who are you? 
Sultan bin Bajad bin Hamid al Otaibi. I suppose you don't have a yeah, no focus tree, but okay. What the heck? Oh, they must have lost their war. Abyssinia must have lost their war against Egypt. Okay, that's a thick Cairo pact. Wow! Oh wow! Oh, they're attacking us here, which is great. Uh, Nepal is annexed between two powers. All right then, we can do that. That would be great, and I'll crush that one division right there. Even when we're not doing extremely well, we're still trying to find avenues of success. You're going to come up here and help defend that area. They're attacking down here, which is not ideal. But whatever. Um, how's the north going? The Finns are almost cut off from themselves, which isn't good. We just sunk another 17 Argentinian convoys. That's good. That's good stuff. The Russians are still attacking like madmen, which is great. We crushed another division over there, which was awesome. Uh, I don't want to attack right now because we don't have enough guns, but we have, we're have we getting more and more artillery, which is actually very, very reassuring to me, which I'm actually enjoying quite a bit. Now, we're going to win down here. Hold. Hold that tile. Great. Kill these guys off. Well, it's only one division, which is better than nothing. Better than nothing. Oh, decryption, side channel attack. Very good. It is almost 1941. I'm just going to go ahead and do dispersed industry because we really, really need it. And we're still building some stuff here, but let's go ahead and actually focus on something for the war effort. Like, in Kiev, another military factory. Uh, do that, though. And resource-wise, we're actually doing well on re resources. Wow, I'm kind of surprised. We're doing actually kind of well on resources. Do that. Do that. Cool. Great. So, I mean, the war over here is not bad. Over here, the war has gotten better, potentially just because the Swedes have joined, thank God. In the low countries, they're actually getting worse because the Russians, not the Russians, the French and the British, or should I really say the Brits, the Union of Britain, <clears throat> are doing quite a number over here, which is not good for anyone. <clears throat> oh, they canceled their Lendley, so that's not good. Oh, they might actually take Metz, but probably not. We suffered a lot of casualties, though. Mongolians have murdered a lot, though. Holy crap. Um, the Entente has suffered quite a few casualties for... No land, it looks like. Well, it looks like the Entente's not getting much out of this war, and that's okay with me. Nice. We are, I think at this point, for the most part, we've stabilized the border, stabilized our line... We can't hold on here for very much longer. These guys probably aren't going to make it back over the river. <clears throat> over the sea. But that's totally fine with me. You know what? They won't be able to break this these four divisions over here. There's no way. Especially with ships patrolling. There's no way. So. We must strike where it is appropriate. And make sure that every division has the appropriate equipment that they need. Good. Fire support, short or fire support. I love uh, Cuba. Trust me, I would love guns. I would love this, but I cannot support it right now. Give me all that RT, all that artillery. Yeah, I didn't have a lot of divisions that didn't use artillery. Uh, sure, Nepal. I know you already capitulated, but whatever. Mm, how many divisions are here? Just one. I don't want to attack over a river, and this is actually quite a good river to defend for them. So I'm not helping them. There's no point to help. So the central line. It's actually done pretty well. Let's help push this direction. Crush them here. Thank you. Thank you very much. We got enough divisions over here for me to take back this airbase. Or, was it my airbase or theirs? No, I think it was their airbase. I don't think I... I don't think I ever owned... Yeah, it's not mine. But it will be mine for pretty much forever once I have my way with them. Yeah. Just overwhelming attacks. Wherever you can. Ichwan was annexed. Very good. Yeah, just... Make sure that they don't come back. Simon falls ill, or Simon. Simon. Awesome. We need to take back Kharkov. That is definitely a priority of ours. Oh, yeah, guys, yeah. Come on, keep doing this. I love what you're doing here. I love what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, come on, yeah. That's good, that's good. This general, how, how do you not have more upgrades yet, man? You're, he almost has another uh, 
slot though for upgrades, which is great. Muscat, where are we? Just keep pushing. If you look at that division strength, they might be running out of equipment. Actually, the Russians are because uh, two front war is always very difficult to fight. Nice. We're gonna push them hard, <clears throat> and we're gonna push them hard in the north. Because that's a very good line to defend behind. That river there. That'll be great. Um, it actually feels like we're actually progressing a little bit. Despite our losses, despite the suffering that everyone in the Ukraine, especially and as well as, as well as in the Reich's Pact, has suffered. That's not good. Um, we're actually pushing these enemies back, which is phenomenal. Really, really phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to take you to... You're going to come over here, and you're going to also help attack, but you're not going to move. You should be able to do pretty well over here. Good. Great. I don't think the Russians can really hold us off too much more. You know what? If they're attacking, I don't mind supporting an attack right here. Give me one of you guys as well. Do you have artillery on you? You have a little bit, yeah. You got that support company, which is great. Good. We're... We should help out attack an attack here. I wish the Germans would tell me that they're attacking, but then again, that would require the AI to think. If we can take this out, we can move up our divisions more north, help take this out as well. That'll be probably pretty good, actually. Oh, we are running out of time in this video. Oh, the Ukrainian Navy, and we got more stability because that makes perfect sense. Let's go with support artillery because artillery is very important for any modern army, but its integration into infantry is vital. We have to do everything we can to analyze the advantages that artillery can bring to the Ukrainian army. That's right, boys and girls. Any advantages whatsoever. Now, I'm not going to just help support any attack. Because obviously, this attack across the river by one half strength division, not very smart. Not smart at all. Over here, this is a little bit more smart, since that'll help defend against a river over here. Um, in the south, it looks like they've stopped attacking, except for, of course, this strait of whatever this is. I, forget, I don't know what the name of that strait is. Does anyone have upgrades? No. No one has learned a god dang thing. But alright, we're still mobilizing more men, and we're still going to be mobilizing men for quite a while now. But can I strike this way successfully? That is my question to you. Happy 1941, everyone! Happy 1941. Hope you're all having a great, great day. We have two divisions defending against us. We will see if they can prove to uh, lodge us or make us not attack and succeed where we need to attack. We su successfully took that tile as well. This eastern front has stabilized very, very well. Much better than I imagined so. Which is good to say. Oh, wait. Liberia already capitulated earlier, didn't they? I thought they did. Uh, Argentina was doing pretty well against Brazil, but now they're doing all right. Central America's there. The American Union State is still getting crushed a little bit. The Germans, they're losing it in the Low Countries. They're really losing it, and I'm starting to get a little bit worried about this. But then again, the French and her allies, they don't have a lot of manpower left. Except the Union of Britain. Communist France doesn't. Uh, the Danes have a little bit left. The Swedes don't have very much. The Germans still have a little bit. As long as we can hold the status quo, I think, I know that we can break the Russian lines. Eventually. Eventually. Take this tile as well. Keep one man there. How are the Mongolians doing? They are... They have a unified front. They have a big unified front, which is awesome, awesome, awesome to see. And they will be paid for their services, even though Russia is kicking some Finnish booty, but... What else is new? What else is new? Yeah, come on. Keep attacking me. See what's gonna happen. Um... They canceled Lenny, so you come down here. You bring one division this way as well. Uh, yeah, not bad. So, other than that, that's pretty much all the time for that we have to take currently. So, we haven't pushed that far, but our line, for the most part, at least the line that we care about, has stabilized very, very well, especially in the southern Ukraine as we move more soldiers down here. That being said, we haven't, have not, not lost people. We've lost too many good men. We've lost a quarter million men. But the Russians, well, we've killed roughly... Two Russians for every one Ukrainian man lost, and in addition to over a quarter million Cossacks, because at the end of this war, the Cossacks are going to have a bad time. So anyways, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover. Uh, leave a like if you liked the video. 
subscribe if you're new, pray that Germany continues to hold the line, check out my Discord link below, and I will catch all of you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great, great day.